classify the carious lesion in the picture according to mountain hume classification now the mountain hume classification is a recent classification that was given for caries it is a two digit classification system as you can see from the options there are two digits which are present now let us have a look at what this classification is so the first digit denotes the site of the lesion so if it is uh, if it is one it stands for pit and fissure if it is two that's contact areas and three cervical area so here you can see this has been designated as one because this is on the pits and fissures so the first digit denotes the site the second digit denotes the size of the lesion. So that can be scored from 0 to 4. 0 is incipient. That means this, this is the initial stages of demineralization. Here, remineralization of the enamel is still an option. So these are the early stages where cavitation has not occurred yet. Size 1, that is minimum. Here, there is initial cavitation that has occurred where is, there is involvement of the dentine and the treatment cannot be done by remineralization alone. So here remineralization cannot be done. It needs some sort of restoration as well. Now size 2 is moderate. Here the tooth is affected. However, it is still strong enough to support a restoration. So can support restoration size 3 now this is enlarged here this lesion has been enlarged more than what is seen in moderate and also the uh, tooth structure has become weakened so tooth is weakened here now 4 this is extensive and this is seen when there is loss of bulk loss of bulk of the tooth structure and there is a complete loss of the cuspal or the incisal edges seen on a tooth. So on the basis of this uh, classification, let us have a look at the image that is given. So we can see that the pit and fissures are carious. So on the basis of the classification, the first digit tells us the site. One is for pit and fissure. So we know it is not one and it is not three. It's between one at between 2 and 4. Now here uh, the, in, the, uh, the lesion appears to be minimum where it is involving the dentine remineralization alone will not be sufficient however it is not uh, enlarged where the tooth structure is weakened so it is not 1.3 it is 1.1. Now this classification can be asked uh, in various ways uh, here we have been given an image and asked to score it. Uh, conversely, we can even be given uh, a score and we can be asked which site or size does it denote. So this is a very simple and an important classification that we need to note from exam point of view.